Hello, this is Julie with the Paper Bead Crafts website, and I am going to tell you how to use the Paper Bead Crafts Paper Bead Sheet Designer. And basically, what you do is you go to the website paperbeadcrafts.com and click on the free bead designer right here, and almost in the middle of your screen. So I'm going to click on that. And then the next page you're going to see a bunch of buttons, and you've got all these buttons here with the different categories. And down here on the bottom, you have a button to go to the instructions, and you have a button to set up your printer. Um, we'll talk about those a little bit later though. For now, let's just go to textures, because I like those actually. And then the next page, you're going to see a whole bunch of little images, and you're going to see a little... A toolbar across the top here and what you're going to do to get started is you're going to choose your paper size and the paper size I'm going to choose is eight and a half by eleven and uh, waiting for the computer here to respond okay paper eight and a half by eleven and then the diameter of the bead that I'm going to be making today is um, seven millimeters um, actually, this graphic, uh, even though you choose the 7 millimeters, you can still make 5 millimeters or 6 millimeters. Um, but this is the maximum size that this particular setting will make. And then the next one to choose is the length, which is right here. And today I'm going to do 5 eighths of an inch. And the type of bead that I'm going to do at this time is a tube bead, or just a regular one. And basically what's going to happen is your sheet of paper is going to show images down the left side. You could choose one of the others. Um, the sideways tube gives you images across the top. The variable taper sheet gives you images down the left side and down the right side. And then the all over sheet is just that. It'll print all, all over your sheet of paper. Uh, the next setting is one quarter taper, one third taper, half taper, two thirds taper, and three quarters taper. Basically what that means is, for example, if you're going to do a one inch long bead and you choose the one quarter taper, your image is going to be one quarter the size of that one inch bead, so it will be three quarters of an inch. Um, but in this case I'm just doing regular tubes, so I'm going to grab that. Okay, and on my experience, the image that I'm going to choose, I don't need to tile it, so I'm not going to choose that. But I am going to choose the cutting lines, because it will make it a lot easier to cut. And a little bit later, I'll show you how to make sure that those pr show up on your paper. And then you're going to click on Make Sheet. And what's going to happen is your um, sheet opens up in a new window or in a new tab. In this case, it opened up in a new tab, because I'm using Firefox. This first line that you're going to see up here shows you how many uh, beads your sheet should make and what date it was made on. And then the next line tells you which way to orient your printer for printing. In this case, it's Portrait. So I'm going to go up to File, and I'm going to go to Page Setup. And on the next dialog box, it's going to, I'm double checking to make sure it says portrait and you want the scale to be at 100%. Make sure you do not check the shrink to fit page width because it just, it won't print right. Um, on your options down here, make sure you have print background colors and images checked. And, and then in the next tab, you want to set your margins. And I like to set my margins to all zeros. But with my experience, with my printer, I actually had to set my left margin to 0 0.10, so that way I get my whole image. But you can try your first one at zero and see what happens, because um, you can adjust these accordingly to make it work for you. And make sure that your headers and footers can, um, print blank. You want to make sure all of these blank are blank. Your computer, your monitor might be a little bit different. Your browser might be a little different. Um, but basically, you want to get rid of your headers and footers. And then click OK. And then the next step is to go up to File, Print Preview, so you can actually see what you're doing. And when that loads, um, you can double check your work. You get Portrait, you got 100%. It's only going to print on one page. And with me, since I chose 0.10, I do have a little bit of a gap here. 
but with my printer that will disappear. It will actually print on the edge. And if you can see them, there are very faint lines here. Um, you should, hopefully, uh, your printer settings are dark enough so that they'll actually be visible when you print out your sheet of paper. And then with my Canon, I always have it um, show do another page preview for the printer itself. So I click on print. And on this dialog box here, I go to properties because I want to do a borderless print. If your printer is capable of doing this, you got to figure out because um, it's definitely worth printing in borderless. And here is my borderless setting, so I'm going to click borderless. And I ignore this because no matter what paper I put in it, it works. And then the print size is 8.5 by 11, my paper source. I'm going to print from my rear tray so that I can load recycled paper. Create paper that's already printed on one side. That way I'm not, you know, using fresh paper on this. And then the print quality just needs to be standard. That's fine. Um, if you do a high quality, you're wasting ink because when you glaze them, the color is going to get enhanced anyway. And then click OK. And I'm not going to actually bother printing uh, all the way. But like I said earlier, when I click OK, I'm going to get a preview. And then I can cancel or I can continue printing after I see the preview. And I'm still waiting for it. Sometimes it takes a minute. OK. Still waiting. Yes, I'm running low on ink. OK. So it says here I'm going to print from my rear tray and the media type, that doesn't really matter. But see, it's going to print really close to my edge, which is perfect. And then, well, if I wanted to continue, I would print from here. But at this point, I'm just going to cancel it. Okay, so I close out of there, close out of there. And I'm going to close this window because I'm done with it. And I'm back to my page. And I'm going to give you a quick review um, of the instruction page. So we'll click on that. Alright, and then the instruction page is just an introduction here. Um, the first section gives you basic instructions. The second section gives you more detailed information about the different bead diameter sizes, what you can do. Uh, right now you can make beads with a sixteenth inch hole or an eighth inch hole. And um, you can see the different sizes that you can get and how to get them. And, of course, you can always experiment and have fun. Use construction paper, use copy paper for your fillers if you want. Um, printer settings, that's just a, a, a overview of what I just talked about. And then there are the different types of beads in more detail. You can see all of those. And that's basically it. Uh, how to use the bead sheet designer in a nutshell. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out the bead rollers that are over here. And if you have any questions, leave a comment, send me an email. Um, uh, that's basically it. Have a good day, and we'll see you later. Goodbye.